Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer and this is A Country Life and tonight I'm sharing with you guys a grocery haul but honestly it's so much more than that. It's actually a little bit of household stuff as well as some Christmas presents. So Emily if you're watching this you're gonna want to tune out right now because <laughs> otherwise you're gonna see some gifts that Colt is going to get for Christmas. Um, also, I did Ibotta. So recently I got the Ibotta app and I've been giving it a try. And um, so, yeah, so I bought some things that were on the Ibotta app. Uh, some of those things like became free after that. So maybe they weren't things I would normally buy, but they became free and I'll get my full money back. So I thought, let's give it a try. So if you are a regular here, you'll notice I have some things on the table. Normally everything is on that dining room table. Sometimes I put some household stuff here on this kitchen counter um, and then look over here. I don't know if I've ever done this before where I have it kind of all lining up over there as well. Well, let's just start where I normally would start and that is with the meat. So we just came off of the deer hunting season and we put five, Warren, was it five deer? Yes. We put five deer into the freezer which is fabulous, so I didn't really need a whole lot of meat. We're gonna be really, really, really um, double downing, doubling down, there we go. We're really gonna be doubling down on the venison in the coming um, months. But I did, last month I did not get the shrimp to make shrimp tacos, and um, yeah, I think I've heard a couple people say they like that, so I picked that up. And I do get the shrimp because I like it with the tails off and I like the raw shrimp. I do pick that up at Walmart. I did pick up for 99 cents a pound a family pack of the chicken thighs. And then two of these. Um, these are fairly expensive, but um, price per ounce isn't the worst. I mean, it's... It's more than the thin, um, you know, cheaper bacon, but it's not as much as some of the thicker cut, smaller packs. Anyway, I think this was like $5.49 or $6.49 for, this is one and a half pounds of bacon. I picked up two of those. Warren has been talking about bacon a lot lately, <laughs> so I'm not sure if I haven't been buying it enough or he's just not getting as much as he'd like. But anyway, he's been talking about bacon, so I got two of those big ones. I did pick up some cheddar brats because I thought we may have like a winter fire here coming up. And I do have some um, hot dogs over there as well. And then I did get a ham. So I went with the Great Value Ham from Walmart this time. This was $1.63 a pound. I don't think that's a fabulous price. Um, it's also not the most expensive I've ever paid for ham. So I picked this up. This is actually going to be our Christmas ham. I'm going to put that in the freezer and we will uh, thaw that about a week before Christmas. And then this was an Ibotta item, these home style. I'd have to look at my app to see what I saved on these, but as you know, Joe loves meatballs. Actually, most of my family loves meatballs. And it's just so nice to have these quick, um, ready-to-go ones because then I can throw this together with my um, homemade spaghetti sauce, you know, from the garden vegetables this summer. And we have a very quick, very delicious meal. Okay, I did. Oh, we still have some more meat things over here. Okay, so um, this was another Ibotta um, item. And I did get three of the beef franks. I, I have a lot of butter. I had been getting a lot of butter. And I feel like I haven't been doing a ton of baking lately. Um, so I only picked up two of those today. We really didn't need eggs because I had gotten a 60 count of eggs right before Thanksgiving and we didn't use very many of those at all. Actually what happened is Nick brought an 18 count of eggs and then just forgot it here and we just like used up those eggs. <laughs> so anyway, I didn't need a lot of eggs but I did get some anyway. Some cheese curds. Um, it just seemed like the time of year, where's the label for this? It seemed like the time of year to pick up some port wine uh, spreading cheese, a couple cream cheeses, maybe for bagels, maybe for cream cheese frosting. We'll have to see. Um, the last two times Amber want, wanted, well, I guess one time she did the shopping, one time I did the shopping, and I got the vanilla. So I thought this time we'll go with the mixed berry, but I do know that her and Sam do really like this um, protein 
what is this, blended Greek non-fat yogurt protein. They like those. And then I got five of these half pounds of cheese, just a variety, sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, pepper jack, and there's two Colby jack under there. I have been back into shredding my own cheese. That really doesn't look like very much, honestly. If you are used to coming to my once a month grocery hauls, this is probably setting up to not look like a huge, huge grocery haul for me. And that is just because I really wanted to, um, I put a good chunk of my grocery cash into an envelope that I left at home because since it is the month of Christmas, I really do wanna make sure that I have enough money set aside for later in the month when things come up like special baking items or maybe I want to make a punch for some something or something like that. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough of that put aside. I do usually try to do that, not usually, I do that every single December. Try to go a little bit leaner uh, the rest of the month so we can make sure we have enough for all the special Christmas treats. And with that I should tell you something happened that I don't think ever ever happens at Aldi. She rang up my total bill one it was small, and two, it was an exact number, $175 on the dot, <laughs> which was really kind of, I don't know, I thought it was kind of fun. So anyway, um, I guess I'm easily amused. I did pick up one thing of shredded mozzarella. We have one of those little pizza crusts left, and I know that uh, Maria was hoping to make one of those for lunch tomorrow. I did pick up a couple of these flap jack. These are the Kodiak cakes with all the protein in it. Um, I figured Amber would probably make these maybe sometime for a breakfast or lunch for herself. They were an Ibotta item. And again, I got these for very, very cheap. And so... But, you know, this is not my normal type of thing, all this uh, extra packaging, whatever. But I picked it up this time. And then this was another Ibotta item, and this will get tucked into Warren's stocking. I did get a great big thing of oil. I've been buying it in these big gallon jugs and just like doing that quite well. Three. I thought I had four things of orange juice, but maybe there was only three. Um, and then I did pick up one of these 100% grape juices. <laughs> And again, the white chocolate peppermint bark. Creamer was down to $1.79 today. They had it marked regularly at $2.29, so I picked up two right away for the month. I did get only two potato products, um, the potato puffs or tater tots, and then some french fries for the month. We still have some potatoes left from the big 50-pound bag that we... Um, uh, Warren's Uncle Dan got us during harvest. Anyway, we still have just a few of those left. And um, so I didn't need a whole lot of that. Now we did get some canned goods. I have, again, I've been really, really keeping my stockpile of store-bought canned goods very, very um, well stocked. But we did need some green beans, so I had Peter and Maria go get six of those. They were not limiting today. A few of the Thanksgiving-ish items, like they were limiting evaporated milk to two, so I picked up two of those. And I want to say they might have been limiting. No, I don't think anything else that I bought. Maria asked for peaches, so I got two cans of peaches, two of the fruit cocktail, because that's what Peter had asked for, two tomato soups. I want to make pizza burgers this month. Peter and Warren both really, really love those. Uh, and Joe, too, so I wanted to make those. A couple cans of cream soups just I couldn't remember what my stash was at home and I thought I'll just grab one of each tomato paste for some recipe that I'm going to be making this month and then cream style corn is also for another I think it's for an egg bake uh, recipe that I found that I wanted to try Amber likes these flatbread wraps to put lunch meat in which now that I think about it I didn't buy any lunch meat we have just a tiny bit left in the in the fridge, but um, these were marked at a dollar off. So whenever I do see these marked at a dollar off, I like to pick them up for Amber. And then pita crackers, you guys all know Warren loves those. Saltines, because we have these with soup and chili all the time. Some cocktail peanuts. These are the peanuts I use in the cornflake clusters that I make, and it is about time to make those again. I typically make those during harvest, and I just don't think I made those this year. A uh, thing of the vegetable spray. I did get one ketchup. I really only needed one or wanted one of these ranch uh, bottles, but Joe went over to grab it. He grabbed two, and I thought, why not? Did I say salt? 
And then I do make a Christmas cookie that uses the Andes Mints candies, but I couldn't find the actual Andes Mints um, baking bits like I found in past years, but they did have the great value, and I had never seen these before, so I thought I would give those a try. Back to Aldi, I picked up two of the mini chocolate chips, some baking supplies, a four-pound bag of sugar, three five-pound bags of all-purpose unbleached flour, I do have a couple Christmas cookie recipes that call for dark brown sugar, so I got one bag of that. And then I did pick up two bags, um, which would be four pounds of light brown sugar. A couple snacks. I did get one bag of Cheetos, and then I did find a recipe that I want to try. It's called Texas Chili, and it uses corn chips. And so I thought I would pick up a couple of those. And these are marked way down at Aldi, too. I want to say they were like 59 or 69 cents a bag. A box of animal crackers. It seems like it's been a while since I bought those, and the kids love those a lot. And some of these golden round crackers. The uh, port wine cheese tastes really, really good on these crackers. I did pick up two things of Pop-Tarts and quite a bit of cereal. So Peter and I were just talking about making some Rice Krispie treats, so I got two um, boxes of those. I did get one of the Cinnamon Crunch, two boxes. Joe picked out the Cinnamon Graham Crackers this time. One box of Corn Flakes for making my Corn Flake Clusters. And then the Quaker Oatmeal Squares. This, again, was an Ibotta um, uh, deal, and this is one of Amber's favorite cereals. And so I got the brown sugar and the cinnamon, and I think you had to buy two, and then you saved a certain amount off of each one, and then if you, well, you didn't have to buy two, you could buy one, but if you happened to buy two, then you got like a bonus on that, which was like another 35 cents or something. So I don't remember the total savings on this, but not a lot, but it's one of those cereals that I really never find on sale, and so I've picked it up with the Ibotta um, deal. Some shredded wheat. Joe picked that out. He loves that. I did let both Peter and Maria pick out a box of fruit snacks tonight. And so Maria picked out the princess and Peter picked out the Scooby-Doo ones. Let's turn on the lights. So moving over to my kitchen counter here, I do or I did pick up one box of elbow macaroni. Maria really likes when I make homemade macaroni and cheese. And so I was almost out needed some of that, and some egg noodles for a recipe. Last month I wanted to make my chicken noodle casserole, which I did not make, and I ended up using the egg noodles in something else. I don't remember what, but I bought them again because my plan is again to make that. Today I made a new recipe. It was a homemade cupcake recipe, just like a vanilla. Well, I can show you. There they are. So tomorrow we're going to put frosting on those. And we saw these at Walmart today, and the kids, Peter and Maria, honestly, they've never had these little crunchy, sugary things, and they didn't even know what they were. I'm like, what? You have to know what those are. So we picked those up so they could try those. Did get a thing of cookies and cream ice cream, which I do need to get into the freezer now. And then here we go. So we are going to give these little puffs to Colt for Christmas. This was an Ibotta deal, and if you bought three different ones, you... There was like a kind of like a coupon type of a thing, you know, a savings on each one individually. And then if you bought three, you got an additional savings. And he's not quite old enough for these yet, but I know that when, you know, my younger kids were little, when these kind of first came out, they always loved these so much. And they're such a nice little thing when you are uh, trying to cook or something like that or do kitchen work. I would put them up at their um, in their like little high chair and just give them some of these puffs and they would just play away and munch while I was getting things done. I got six gallons of 2% milk. One is already in the fridge. And then this was another Ibotta deal. I don't really ever buy this, but I'm not apologizing. Sometimes people like a Pepsi and a Mountain Dew every once in a while. I thought we would have these with our hamburgers because Warren grilled burgers tonight. Sam made us half potatoes while I was still in town. I thought when we got home we would have this with our burgers, but we forgot and here it still is. So I did get two packages of English muffins for making the pizza burgers. I did pick up a variety of bread, um, some 100% whole wheat, and then I got some of this whole grain white and another 100% whole wheat. I really was just kind of grabbing whatever because we just like to have a variety. 
I did try this keto bread once before, and um, it it actually is really good. This is actually zero net carbs because it has basically as many carbs as it has. It has that many grams of fiber. So that is kind of a nice thing if you are, um, you know, trying to eat low carb um, food. Okay, some hamburger buns. I had one more, but we had one of the packages with our hamburgers tonight. And then hot dog buns for all of those hot dogs that I bought. I did pick up some produce items here. I have been um, making salads now. This felt very, very foreign to buy tomatoes, but obviously we are out of the gardening season and all of my tomatoes are in some sort of canned version right now and I wanted some fresh tomatoes for a couple recipes so I picked those up. Some more coleslaw um, and this is going to be for the shrimp tacos. And then I picked up a little bit of fruit here, um, some grapefruits. So I actually did find a recipe that I'd like to try. It's like a grilled chicken with a citrus salsa on top. So I wanted to try that and that called for grapefruits and um, and oranges as well, and a lime, and I just realized that I forgot to get the lime. It was on my list, but I must have just missed it. Anyway, some bananas, Joe picked those out. I'm surprised, usually he picks out the yellowest ones he can find, but not this today. Time, he picked out the green. He the did, green didn't he? And then I did get some pears, so these I will put into the fridge for a while and let, let them ripen up, because they seem very, very firm. So last month, when I spent $355 at Walmart, <laughs> I bought a lot of household supplies, and I, there just wasn't that much that I needed. I did t um, pick up just two of these little packages. I have quite a few in my stockpile, but I picked up two more. And then I did get this. This is for like what we call our porch bathroom, because uh, this is the size roll that fits on there. They didn't have the Charmin that I like, but that's all right. Um, it was kind of strange again. I was at Walmart and they were right back to where they were like back in March where there was just hardly anything to be found. Even this, which rarely sells out, they only had maybe about six of those left. I did pick up some of these Snuggle um, dryer sheets. Usually I get the great value, but this was another Ibotta thing. But guess what? I misread it because it was only good at like Target or something like that, and I was at Walmart. So that was a bummer. I ended up buying those, um, like miss buying those, but that's okay. I will still use up every single one of those. And then the Listerine was also an Ibotta thing. And the nice thing is that you could buy any size um, as long as it was 3.2 ounces or larger. So I got this little tiny Listerine so Warren can put this like in his travel pack. We have a wedding to go to um, at the end. Well, I guess it's actually at the beginning of the year, uh, 2021. And uh, so that'll be nice. He can put that in there. And then this was a brand new product, this Listerine toothpaste, at least brand new to me. I'd never, ever seen it on the shelf before. And it was a great savings through Ibotta. So I picked that up. And now a couple things. I really love getting gifts that are like practical um, and usable, especially for a, an infant. I mean, he is not really going to know. Um, you know, he doesn't really care a whole lot about toys or things like that right now. So I got two of these great big boxes of uh, diapers to give to Colt. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Um, one box of little movers and one of little snugglers. Again, this was an Ibotta savings, and so I got a, a great deal on those. And then Emily had mentioned to me that he um, was pretty short on six to nine month clothes which is probably what he's going to be wearing right around Christmas and you know kind of after kind of in that winter months so we found a couple little outfits that we thought so this was all you know according to Joseph Peter and Maria we kind of all settled on this one this little gray camo with this little thermal um, onesie and then a little pair of blue jeans we thought these are really cute these we actually got in 12 month because they just look so tiny um, hopefully those fit him. And then this little thermal as well, Snow Much Fun. I thought that one was really cute. And then a couple of these little just like zip up, I guess you could call these pajamas. They call them sleep and play. And the neat thing is they actually have a zipper at the bottom. I remember when it would be winter and you'd have to change a diaper in the middle of the night 
and you just felt like, oh, if you unzipped from the top, your baby was going to get cold. So this is so neat. It kind of just unzips from the bottom, so you can just change their diaper and be, and move on. So we thought that was cute, the little black and white, and then this little brown one with all the little animals, cute little bear and raccoon and the sloth and little hedgehog. So anyway, all the animals. So just two more things here. So last time I showed you that we got tights for Maria when we took them out of the package. The white ones were enormous and the black ones were little dinky dinky tights. So we returned those today and got a new package. So I'm going to be interested to see. Maria and I think that the white looked bigger than the black. And then we also picked up these more of these like yarn tights for her as well. <laughs> All right, well, we have the same situation. Here's the black ones. They come down to here. And the here are the white ones. They go all the way to there. I almost think that the white in this package are even bigger than the white in the last package. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But um, just just so you know, if you pick up the Wonder, Wonder Nation at Walmart, beware of the tights sizing. That's our second pack like that. I'm going to open these up real quick too. Okay, I have the waists um, together. And in this one, the gray definitely look longer and they look fairly big so hopefully that once I wash and dry these that these are going to fit Maria. I hope we don't have to do another return because boy it's starting to get to be that time of the year where standing in line for returns at Walmart is not really high on my list of things to do. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not already subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe at this time. You just ding ding the little um, subscribe button, hit the bell for the notifications. And I do want to just mention if you are or think that you are already subscribed to my channel or want to be subscribed to my channel, would you please just go and double check that you are. Um, I had a time about a week or two ago as of this filming where um, I lost about 200, maybe not quite, um, subscribers in one day. And so I'm not really sure. I didn't have any kind of that, that video that day wasn't something controversial. So I'm not really sure if I, sometimes YouTube will go through and they will just sort of like delete uh, subscriptions. I don't really know why they do that, but they do. So just double check that. I would appreciate it. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and that you have a fabulous night. We will see you back with the next video. Bye-bye.